Good morning, this is Victor and the Psalter. It is Friday morning, February 4th. I'm going to post a short video on the daily spiritual battle. The theme of this video will be how to cope with um, panic. I know I talk about this a lot, but the panic in the context of COVID fatigue and COVID anxiety. As you can see, there's a sizable third or fourth wave. I lost track of coronavirus going around the world and lots of people are scared. Um, lots of people are going through some serious financial hardships. Um, everything seems to be falling apart, doesn't it? But um, this is a good opportunity. The Holy Spirit showed me that this is a perfect opportunity to experience what the early Christians may have experienced. Could you imagine what it was like for them constantly fearing for their lives should anyone find out that they were Christian? That's what it was like. And so their world was a world that was full of danger. And how did they cope with it? How did they live their lives full of joy? Well, this was during the first 300 years of Christianity, most likely um, they would have prayed the Psalms. The Psalms and liturgical prayers would have been their mainstay and I know I talk a lot about how much I love the Psalms, how it's my number one prayer. Um, it's not to dismiss the rosary. The rosary is a very efficacious spiritual weapon. Um, but the rosary is a different kind, a different, genre, a different uh, species of prayer, I would say. Because, yes, it's vocal prayer. You can pray it out loud like the Psalms. But it's more of a chance for you to meditate on the scriptures and on the mysteries of Christ and then incorporate them in your life and let the Holy Spirit awaken you to how Christ lives in you and how Mary intercedes for you. So it's a very important prayer, there's no doubt. But the, you have to remember that the, the Psalms form sort of a foundation for all forms of Christian prayer, whether it be the Rosary or the Divine Mercy Chaplet. And so the more you pray the Psalms in faith, believing every word that you read without listening to your distracting thoughts, you will be able to cope better with the, the, the changes and vicissitudes of life. Um, this I know because, again, I, I struggle with panic every day. And, and so I highly encourage you to, like I say, wake up in the morning. Anytime you have a free chance, open up the book of Psalms. If you want, pick one and just pray it over and over again. What it'll do is it'll cleanse your mind. Okay, it'll cleanse your mind. If you want to talk about it in scientific, psychological terms, um, it forces your, not the forces, but it allows your mind to use the message of the Psalms that God is in control, that God loves you, that God always comes through in the end. Putting that deep into your unconscious mind so that it informs your conscious mind, if you want to be Freudian about it. And that will, in itself, help you cope with. So it's not, it's not placebo because it's faith and in, by faith we believe that it's actually true that it isn't just trying to just trying to make ourselves feel better so give it a shot i'd love to know what results you have